Hi, my name is Sal Magasini. I'm Haley Enriquez. So today we're having our public media event, uh, Toxics Hour. And really, we're just informing the public about phenols on receipts, what we've been doing for the last six weeks in our campaign called Don't Take That Receipt. An issue that a lot of people don't know about the receipts is there's a chemical called BPA and BPS with some that causes a lot of health effects like heart disease, diabetes, various cancers, and people don't know that cashiers are the most exposed to them. We have finger gloves um, that people may misunderstand what they are used for, but <laughs> it's to help cashiers protect themselves against the, uh, the chemical in the receipts. Yes. Uh, hopefully to also encourage to let their customers know that they're going to make the move to phenol-free receipts. As the public, like people say, money is power. You guys have that chance to let store owners know how you feel about it. Um, they're going to listen to you guys more than anybody else, so don't doubt yourself. Yes, we have the power. We have the power. To the general manager, you could literally go up to them and say, uh, ask them if they have BPA in receipts. Um, one way to find out is taking a sharp object and writing on it. If a black mark pops up, there's chances there's phenols in that receipt. You can bring it to the attentions of the managers and tell them that you would appreciate and love them to move towards phenol-free options, which is a phenol free receipts, which we have linked on our website, and or just moving to electronics. That's the safest way. Hi, my name is Espy Thompson. I'm pretty excited that this campaign, we're just getting started. You know, this summer we've been reaching out to over 70 stores, but we're really hoping to extend that beyond Holyoke. Uh, so we have received a grant to continue our work into the fall and we'll be applying to more grants by the end of the summer. It's a little awkward if you are just by yourself, but if you have a handout that says, I just learned about this issue, there's toxins in receipts, here's our card with our funny video on it, on the back there's tips for you, and then here's one for your manager, can I talk with the manager, and it, it has all these ways that the manager can do things that day, like remove hand sanitizers, tell their staff to wash their hands with soap and water, um, printing fewer receipts, printing receipts only if the customer asks for one, and then higher level things like getting different paper or going to e-receipts. So we also have on our website, which is bpa-free.me, printouts that you can um, print from your home computer and give it on your own. So that's our hope too as we continue our outreach online that someone in Idaho or Nevada can print out these things and, and take action at their local stores as well. We watched 800 people in the UMass um, short order cooking cafeteria, right? You like, you order your meal, you stand there with your receipt, then they call your number. Mm -hmm. So we watched 800 people for how they interact with thermal paper. And 2% of people do truly bizarre things. And you saw some of them, like blotting your lipstick, blotting grease off a pizza. People actually do those things. So, you know, if you're one of those people, it's easy enough to stop doing that, right? Like, <laughs> but I think also it, it, it's the lesson that we've seen is that we don't interact with consumer products the way that the maker thinks that we do. So if we all sort of look at our own behaviors and figure out what is my 2% thing? What am I doing weird? Then we can affect our own exposures to chemicals without having to really change our lives. Did you know there's BPA in cash register receipts? Bisphenol A? Isn't that the stuff that's toxic? Yes? Whoa, did I really just see that? BPA mimics estrogen and is an endocrine disruptor? The endocrine system is what controls your hormones. Didn't BPA used to be in baby bottles and now they're saying it's in the lining of canned goods? The seats have 250 to 1,000 times as much BPA as cans do? BPA is also in a lot of personal care products? What? Uh, uh, you're only paying 70. And there's your receipt. BPA is a reproductive, developmental, and systemic toxicant. In human and animal studies, BPA exposure has been associated with fertility issues, breast cancer, asthma, diabetes, depression, heart disease, memory function, higher blood pressure, and can impact liver and brain function? Whoa! Unlike BPA and hard plastics, BPA and receipts can rub right off onto your skin? Did you give me my discount? Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Right there. Thank you, dear. No problem. Hand sanitizers and lotions increase the rate of BPA absorption into the bloodstream? <laughs> Gotta stay clean. 
So how are we doing today? Not sure. Oof, that can't be a good idea. Can this get any worse? Well, at least she's recycling. Receipts shouldn't be recycled? BPA contaminates the water? You fold the legs right here, and it's a frog. Oh no. Kids of all ages are especially vulnerable to BPA since their bodies are still developing. We don't want you getting any of that unhealthy grease now, do we? Pregnant women should take extra care as a developing fetus is most vulnerable to BPA. No, not the baby! But if everyone here, he's gotta be exposed the most. All right, all done. Would you like your receipt printed? Or we can just email it to you. Yes, I'll take the e-receipt and add these two for you. Thanks. <laughs> Ask your local stores to go paperless. Visit bpafree.me to learn more and take action. You'd think someone would just make a BPA-free receipt. They do, but most BPA-free receipts have chemicals similar to BPA or that are harmful to the environment. What the Better to go paperless. Hey, we're not done with you yet. We've got easy ways for you to protect yourself and help make your local stores safer. Go to bpa-free.me. What are you waiting for? Come visit us now.